Welcome to Roadfly TV, your latest automotive fix from Roadfly.com. Welcome to Roadfly TV. I'm Jesse Lang bringing you an inside look at the 2011 Porsche Boxster Spider. Focused on creating a distinctive design while saving weight, Porsche engineers dropped a claimed 176 pounds and have created one sexy boxer. You'll either find the retro style manual top charming or annoying. I'm really impressed by all the clever engineering that went into designing it, but taking it on and off is definitely a process. Now dropping that power retractable top saved a lot of weight, and they also shed another 33 pounds by using aluminum door skins and pull strap interior door panels. The 10 spoke spider specific 19 inch wheels are actually lighter than the Boxer S's 18s, and they reduced the gas tank capacity by 2.6 gallons to 14.3. They also improved the aerodynamics with a modified front lip and fixed rear spoiler, as well as a lower trim bar that bears the Porsche name. It has a new one-piece aluminum deck lid with two aero humps like those used on the Carrera GT, which saves 6.5 pounds over the regular car's rear trunk. As with any boxer, whether the top is up or down, you still have full use of the front and the rear trunks. As for the engine, it's got a 3.4 liter flat six that produces 320 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. Now that's 10 more horsepower than the Boxster S, and with a standard limited slip differential, you can really capitalize on that power. Now in case you are among the very, very few who do not know this, the ignition in Porsches is always to the left of the steering wheel, and this dates back to the old school days of racing when the driver had to make a running start, jump in the car, start them and take off. So they put the ignition on the left so the driver could start the car with his left hand and put it in gear with his right hand. Now much to my delight, our car is a six-speed manual, um, but you can also get a steering wheel with proper paddle shifters for cars that are equipped with the seven-speed dual-clutch automated manual. Now, the reduced weight of the six-speed manual make the Spider the lightest car in the Porsche fleet, and you can feel it. 176-pound loss might not sound like a lot, but you've got to keep in mind that the standard Boxster was not a heavy car. So the Spider, without the air conditioning and the radio, weighs just over 2,800 pounds. Now the suspension is eight-tenths of an inch lower, and it gives you shorter and stiffer springs, firmer dampers, and a slightly wider track. So while the retune suspension gives you a little bit more grip, it does make for what some might call a less comfortable ride. You can definitely feel the road, you can feel the texture of the road, but I actually like that. I think it handles wonderfully. Need I say how fun the acceleration is? There's so much power and it feels so good. The faster you go, the more fun it is. But I have spent the last seven days fearing police officers because if I get one more speeding ticket, I will lose my license. <laughs> I can't help it. How can you not drive these cars? Now the inside is pretty reworked, and like all Porsches, you can get it customized any way you like it. You've got these cool, lightweight uh, racing seats, which are very comfortable and really kind of hug you um, firmly. <laughs> but they do make getting in and out of the car pretty tricky. It also has a hoodless instrument cluster, which looks pretty sharp. Now the center console and the dash trim are color matched to the body, and the inside door releases are now these little cloth slings, which help drop a bit of weight, um, and they also match these nice red seat belts. Fuel economy is surprisingly good. You get about 19 in the city and 27 on the highway. The base model comes in at just over 62 and our test car came in at just under 68. Now if you get this car, you cannot take it through a car wash. This is a hand wash only car. And there's also um, an amusing part of the owner's manual that suggests that if you are driving with the top up, you should not exceed 120 miles per hour. Undeniably gorgeous inside and out, and with a zero to 60 time of just over four and a half seconds, the 2011 Porsche Boxster Spider is likely to induce some jealousy. That's all today for Roadfly TV. I'm Jesse Lang, and I want to hear from you. Send us your comments, rate our videos, and join our community by subscribing to our channel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not that small. It's actually pretty roomy in there. It's deep. <laughs> Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you.